Hi, Sue Wilson. I've got a really bright and beautiful Christmas card for you today. Not very traditional, but I think it's absolutely lovely and it's got a great technique I want to share with you. I'll show you what we'll be using. So from the Snowball Frame set, I'm just going to be using this sentiment here. And this is the star of the show, the Believe in the Magic frame. And then we're going to be doing a, uh, a frame around the frame with the double stitched rectangles from our Noble collection. Okay, we've got a few other items we'll be using that are not dies. And I just want to introduce the crystal tints to you. Um, this is a line that we have recently come out with and they're absolutely lovely. They're mostly for use on acetate and things like that. So this one is pure amethyst. I'll go ahead and take the lids off. This is the Blue Aquamarine, uh, Lime Peridot, and the last one is Teal Tourmaline. Okay, they're really, really lovely. Now, I've got a piece of acetate. Now this one is a half, a half of a sheet here, an A5 size. Um, if you're doing this at home, I recommend doing a full size sheet of this because it does take some drying time. And that way, once it's dry, you can just cut bits of it that you want to use either as borders or backgrounds and whatnot. And you don't have to wait for it to dry. But for today, I'm just going to use a smaller piece here. So what we're going to do is just one by one, I'm going to put some drops all over the background here. You can even do a little bit of a squiggle, give it a little squeeze if you like. And just Get a bit of it around, mix all of our colors. This is the Blue Aquamarine. And they look very similar like this, but they're not. Get a few more over here. And the Lime Peridot, this will give you a really lovely accent color to go with it. Okay, so I've just got some spritz around. You can always add a little bit more you need to. Now I'm going to use my finger um, to do this next step. If you don't like to get your fingers messy, you can use a paintbrush. But I want to just move it around, but I don't necessarily want to mix all the colors. So I just kind of want to try and keep them as separate as I can, but cover my acetate. There we go even though these colors all blend beautifully. The other thing I love about this technique is um, it's never going to look the same twice. Um, so you can kind of think, oh, I want it more blue or more green next time. And you can adjust it like that. But every single time you do this, it is going to look completely different. So pop that over. There we go. And you just want to make sure there's a little bit everywhere to the edge. Now, I've got quite a bit of teal there. So if I wanted to, I could go back in and add a little more green in that section. However you want to do it. Let me grab a grime boss. It does stain a little bit, but a little bit of rubbing will take that off. There we go. Okay, and just a little bit of a kitchen roll to dry off. All right, so the next step is we're going to bring in a little bit of holographic glitter for it. This is sea spray. And this is midnight marine. Now one's kind of a light color and one's a darker color. And I'm just going to put a little bit with a spoon, kind of tap it all around, sprinkle it, just to give you some, gives a lot of great depth in this technique. And by the way, this is actually a variation on the cotton crystal method. But it's even more sparkly if that's possible, I think. And that'll give you a lighter color there. Okay doesn't take too much. Let's pop those lids back on. Okay. Then the next step is a piece of just regular white gift wrap. We have all this laying around. Every time you get a shoe box, whatever, you get that. You want to crumple it up, make it all wrinkly, and then open it up just open, but not smooth out the wrinkles and lay it down. And I always start with a piece that's way larger than what I'm doing. You need some kitchen roll because it will come right through this and you want to tamp that on there. Just make sure it's all attached. Okay. Give it very gently. You don't want to try not to rip the um, tissue paper. Although if it does rip, you can take a little piece on the outside and just kind of piece it back into place and it's fine. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up and show you this side. And you can see how beautiful that is going to look. Now this needs to be set aside to dry. Let's clean our little spot off. Got a little bit on my fingers. And I'll show you a piece that I did earlier that's all ready to go. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can see the tissue is dried onto the back there. Don't try to take that off. That stays on there. And then what you want to do is put a white backing on that and I'll show you why. So you've got this piece here. When you put the white in, it just really, really makes it pop. Okay. So I'm going to spray that and then I'll give you a quick measurement. In fact, I am going to use a tiny bit of glue around the edge just to make sure it's going to stay nice and secure there. Okay. That should just be about the same size. There we go. A little bit larger. We'll cut that. Doesn't matter. And I'll give you a quick measurement as promised. That is five by just a hair over six inches. Okay, so this is going to be our backing. We'll come back to this in a moment. So next, what I want to do is show you. I've cut one of the Believe in the Magic frames, and I'm going to use these trees. So I just want to kind of nip them apart. Just take the edge off of it. There we go. And I'm going to actually take that little star off. And I'm going to just cut these little guys out. I'm not going to use that part of it, but what we want to do is I want to bring these in, but I want to use this side. And I think by putting a little bit of glue on the back of these, covering them with glitter, we're not going to be able to tell that that's the back side of those trees. There we go. Let's just spread that around. Get it all the way to the edge there. I'm going to bring in some ice snow, so it's a chunkier sort of glitter too. Pop that into place. So now, if I can get a hold of them, you've got a couple of trees that are going to be going the other direction, which is what I want them for, and you can't really tell because we've glittered them, so you aren't going to see the edge of those. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. And I've got one here that's dry. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, just like that. So now I'm going to bring in the frame that's cut. And I've mounted a little bit of uh, mounting foam on the back here. I'm going to pop this backing paper off down here. And I'm going to put these trees so they kind of look like they're in the background behind our houses. There we go just popping up from the back. Isn't that pretty? So now I'm going to bring in my piece here. We are going to go ahead and peel off the rest of the mounting backing. I've just got some tiny little pieces here at the top behind my reindeer. Let's see if I can get a hold of those. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue down here. Pop that right in the center. There we go. And I've done a frame ahead of time with the double uh, stitch rectangles. So now I'm going to pop that right over the top of it. We may have to do a little bit of trimming away. We'll see. Try and center that over it. That's looking pretty good. And I've done a backing for it. Now I've decided because there was so much color coming from the uh, cotton crystal with the crystal tints that I was just going to go with a white on white backing on it. And I think there's just a tiny bit showing down here. Let's just trim away this part. There we go. Pop that into the center of our piercing. And all it needs now is the Believe, which I've cut in black so it really pops out against the, um, the background. And I'm going to use a little bit of spray glue on that one. And I kind of wanted all of this to show, so I'm going to put it right on the bottom down here. There we go. 
So quick and easy. So if you had a couple pieces of that, you could just make another one in no time whatsoever. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel.